I bring it back to me. Hey guys, we're back on the Nova Show. It's your host, International Nova. And before we start, I want to give a huge birthday shout out to George. George, happy birthday. Definitely many more to come. And I hope you enjoy your day. I also want to apologize. I've actually been sick for the past week and a half and haven't been able to upload any new episodes. But starting today, we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled times. Now, originally, this was supposed to be a home studio series episode, but because of me being sick, I have moved that to Thursday's episode. So tune in for that. Now, in today's music news, I actually want to congratulate J. Cole. His new album, Forest Hills Drive, has actually reached platinum status. Now, the album itself has actually sold over 1.4 million copies. That's actually a pretty cool milestone. Congratulations, J. Cole. Now, in hologram news, Looks like in 2016, Whitney Houston will be the next artist to have a hologram created after her. Now, according to reports, it seems that hologram is actually going to go on tour. That's actually a little freaky, but pretty cool at the same time. Now, in the past couple years, we've actually had a Tupac hologram and a Michael Jackson. So I'm actually pretty excited to see how this Whitney Houston hologram will look like. Now in hip-hop news, actor and rapper T.I. has finally released a new EP. The EP is actually titled The Neck. Now T.I. is actually the latest musician to drop an album without any prior promotion. Now if you guys remember in the past, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and some other artists have actually tried this tactic and it's actually worked for them. So let's see how T.I.'s numbers actually do. Now in Billboard news, The Weeknd actually had his second week at number one with his new album, Beauty Behind the Madness. Now the album itself actually sold over 145,000 units last week. Now I'm actually a weekend fan myself and I must say his new album is actually pretty amazing. Now in Denver, an actual radio DJ is suing Taylor Swift. Now the whole reason behind the lawsuit is that the DJ was actually suspected of grabbing Taylor's butt during a photo. Word got back to his company and he was fired on the spot. Now according to the DJ, he states that he's not the one that grabbed Taylor's butt and that it was actually his co-worker and not him. Now in other cool news, if you're a fan of Tupac, then you probably know that September 13th is the anniversary of his death. Now if you head over to Tupac.com, you will actually see a letter written from rapper Kendrick Lamar to Tupac. It's actually a pretty cool thing to read as Kendrick describes the inspiration that he received from meeting Tupac when he was just 8 years old. Now that's it for today's episode guys. Again, I thank you so much for tuning in. Tune in on Thursday as we go back to the home studio series. Again, this is International Nova. You guys take care. EMG. I bring it back to me. Back to me.